Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Wednesday, February 9th, and this local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. The Flagler County Commission is looking at offsetting a large revenue increase in the next budget year. County Financial Services Director John Brower says due to a 15% property value increase, the county will get an additional $12 million in revenue if the millage rate stays flat. Commissioner Greg Hansen says they should consider a roll back. If we in fact have 15%, this is a chance to give Flagler County a break. But Commissioner Andy Dance says it shouldn't be assumed that millage will stay flat. We should be building the budget from the bottom up, not from the top down. So we start with identifying our priorities and where we want to make certain progress for this year. And ultimately, when we go through all that, that process will end up setting the millage. And Commissioner Dave Sullivan says before considering a rollback, they need to take the county strategic plan into account. I would just want to make sure that rather than wait two or three years into the future after we get the strategic plan done, if there are some new items that come out of that strategic plan process that we're involved with that may need to be done sooner, that we have the ability to get those into the the process this budget year. There's no timeline on holding a rollback vote. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. Palm Coast City Council wants to find a new restaurant to serve customers of the Palm Harbor Golf Club. The city doesn't want to renew its lease with Green Lion Cafe because it says it's not a good deal for them. Right now, Green Lion pays $600 per month to lease the space. Per the agreement, the city pays Green Lion's electric bill, which amounts to anywhere from between $1,100 to $1,400 per month. Green Lion told the city in April it wanted to renew its lease, and city staff presented a proposal to council that would allow them to do so. Vice Mayor Eddie Branquinho had some choice words after hearing that. Word shame, that's what we should be using over here for the people that actually did this lease five years ago. And shame on us if we agreed to this. Shame on us. This is robbing the people of Palm Coast. This is actually... A shame. Councilman Ed Danko echoed Branquino's comments. I don't blame the people that got this lease. I mean, it's a sweetheart deal. I would take it in a second. They're smart to take it if we're dumb enough to give it to them. But I don't blame them personally, but I just think this is outrageous. We don't want to find ourselves in a Bing's Landing situation that the county found themselves in. And that's what this reeks of. Councilman Nick Klufus wants to see the issue resolved as quickly as possible. The condition of the golf course today and this restaurant is top tier, and I think it demands even more than these numbers. Because if you go to the golf course, this place is packed wall to wall. We definitely have an opportunity here to reap some of the benefits of the transition that's happened over the last five years. Back in 2017, Green Lion was the only restaurant to submit a request for proposal to operate at the golf club. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. February is Black History Month. Shelley Ragsdale is president of the NAACP in Flagler County. The most important part, I think, for me, it accentuates some of the things that people of color have not only attributed to, but had a vital part in making these United States what it is today. Ragsdale says Flagler County is steeped in black history, some of it not so good, and other parts apologetic. But he says we've come a long way since the 50s and 60s when he was in school. The history that I was taught, you're heard about uh, George Washington Carver and the the peanut mill and all of this, et cetera. But you basically heard about two black people. And, and, you know, that's what I was taught. And that's why I love Black History Month. It gives us an opportunity to accentuate some of the good things that have been in this country by people of color. Crime Stoppers has named their Officer of the Year, and it's a local deputy. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office is pleased to announce that Master Deputy Krista Rainey's been named the Northeast Florida Crime Stoppers Officer of the Year for 2021. M.D. Rainey, a nine-year law enforcement veteran, was nominated by Sheriff Staley for this prestigious honor after two successful life-saving events last year, as well as an apprehension of a violent fugitive and career felon suspected of murder when a routine traffic stop turned violent. Sheriff Staley. We're very proud of Master Deputy Krista Rainey, who has been named Crime Stoppers in Northeast Florida 2021 Law Enforcement Officer of the Year. This is a well-deserving award, and we appreciate Crime Stoppers 
recognizing Deputy Rainey. In addition to her dedication to serving and protecting Flagler County as a law enforcement officer, M.D. Rainey also volunteers her time with the Special Olympics Flagler Sheriff's Children's Charities and Surfers for Autism. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Cold weather continues to grip Flagler County. According to the National Weather Service, the temperature will dip below 40 degrees tonight. So the sheltering tree will once again open its doors. Sue Bickings is with the cold weather shelter. The Church on the Rock is located at 2200 North State Street in Bonnell. The shelter will open at 5.30 p.m. and close at 8 a.m. the following day. If you are in need of shelter or have no heat at home or are living in your car, join us at Church on the Rock at 5.30 p.m. We will be ready with a warm cot and two great meals for you. Flagler County Transportation offers free bus rides from pickup points in the county starting at 3 p.m. The sheltering tree has been helping people stay warm in Flagler County for the past 13 years. How many women live at the Open Door Women's House? House manager Kimela Middleton said that she can have up to six at a time, but for now, it's four. So why those four? I saw something in them when I interviewed them. I saw that they really wanted help, that they were willing to do something different with their lives. And I took a chance and I, I brought them in. She said that like anybody, there are issues that get talked about and worked out. Middleton said that with her background, she's always willing to help the women get to the next level. The Business Report is on the radio on Saturday mornings at 10 and on the Flagler Radio app anytime. Tomorrow, more about Open Door. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.